Yo guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Mitch here, and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be reviewing the new, partly new, Yeezy Beluga V2 2.0. Um, so, let's start off with it. So, starting off with the box, we've got the 350 graphic and the boost graphic right here. Um, on this side of the box, we have the pull-out uh, tab and we have the Yeezy Boost 350 made by Kanye. So, this is the, vo the box. Uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty good and easy for access. Um, it's a cool, like, elegant way to, you know, access your sneakers. Um, so, starting off with the size tag, we're going to have a look here. Alright. So, right here we've got size 11. Um, maybe if it's going to focus. We've got all these. It's 220 retail US dollars. Um, the mo uh, the bad bit about this is I did pick them up for 700 off goat. That was before Christmas time. And now they're about down to about 560, 570, I think. I haven't checked in a while, but I think I've watched it around. Um, but yeah, so the box is a really sleek design. Um, same design with all the V2s. And yeah, I think they're going to keep it for a while until they um, come out with the new Yeezy. So to start off with the new Yeezy 2.0, um, the first thing is the heel tab or pull tab, whichever you want to call it. I reckon this is a new good feature that they've put in the new V2s um, to give it that more sleek and discreet look. And I reckon it suits the shoe really well. And so starting off, it's got the stitching. It's more of like a like a pink tinted fluoro orange. It's kind of hard to explain the colour because as it looks uh, a lot different in person. Um, so it's got this. It's nicely stitched, no flaws whatsoever. Um, as you can see. And yeah, I reckon that was a really good addition that they added to the shoe. Okay, so with the new 2.0, they've taken away the stripe and implanted it with a grey colour. And through this, they have put it um, with uh, a fluoro pinkish sort of font which I reckon looks really good because it pops out throughout the shoe and it's really noticeable from quite far away. As you can see like here, you can see it's a great shoe and it's just those things that make it pop. So starting with the stitching from the tongue down to the toe box, it is really, really, really nice and sleek. There's no flaws in it at all. And that's the thing Yeezy always does with them. It's, there's never any flaws and they always make it look great. So I think 10 out of 10 for that because Obviously it's two panels of a shoe, you want to make it look good and they always seem to do it. So starting with the opposite side of the shoe, they've taken influence from the Zebra as they've used, they've used the same pattern and sort of, you know, silhouette for that. And they did rock it somehow, I don't know, two greys and like fluoro, but they did rock it and they've made it look really good. Back heel tab. Um, for this design, for the 2.0, they've given it more of a square look with this three, uh, the three 3M stripes, as you can see, the light's not very good. Alright, so they've got a more square look with, yeah, so easy access to the pull tab obviously for two fingers or one, whatever you're pulling it up with. Um, and yeah, I think they've, they've changed through um, the different types of Yeezys, some have been uh, like more oval, some have been more shaped like the creams and stuff. Um, but I find that the ones with the heel tabs seem to be more square, which I do like better than the original like Black Friday look with the ovals. Um, but yeah, this does look really sleek and yeah, it's a nice feature that they've added. Okay, so with the sole, they've had that same sort of ridged rubber sole that they use for every single one of them. Um, but the materials used for the sole, they're still really like... I don't know, they're still really good, but the only bad thing about them is that um, marking, so like those, they come up so easy on Yeezys, um, which is a bit of a pain, but I guess you can't really do much after all. But yeah, they do look really effective on the shoe, um, and the materials used for it um, seem to be really, really high quality, and yeah. Okay, so the laces are just those common Yeezy laces with the, they're quite, a thick build so you can shape them and stuff so if I pull that out you can push it back pull it, pull, pull, pull it back um, so that same like quite durable laces um, they don't seem to fray that much they're pretty good actually and quite well contained um, but yeah it's a pretty good material that they use for these and obviously they continue to use these with the V2s and yeah 
Okay, so the material of the shoe is keeping that classic Yeezy sort of material, that prime knit with that stretchiness, and yeah, this is probably the most durable material, like, like you wouldn't think it at all, as it's such a, you know, like, quite thin, and it's, think of it's just knit, but yeah, this is, like, this is a really good material, and it is probably one of the most comfortable shoes, actually the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn in my life, because one, the comfortable, comfortableness of the, or the comfort, sorry, of the uh, prime knit and mainly the boost giving you that extra spongy feel. Okay, so the sole is the last thing we're going to talk about. Um, so the boost, it has stayed the same as the normal V2s. Um, it has, it has the six ridges, which you can't, oh there we go. Um, and yeah, so the boost is kept the same. Um, obviously, that spongy, nice material it says it says boost right there, and the boost goes all the way through the shoe in the um, in the sole, and yeah, so pretty much um, this just makes it so as you can see that lining that's all boost inside of there, and it just gives it that extra comfort of the shoe. So yeah, this is probably the most comfortable pair of shoes I've owned. Um, and yeah, it's still it's just got that really sleek, like designer look, you know. Um, price tag is not, um, it's not very small, but um, yeah, I guess that's just what you get to end up paying with designer shoes. So I'll continue an on feet. There's a helicopter up there. I don't know if you can hear it, but I will do an on feet for you guys and just show you what it looks like. And uh, yeah. Alright guys, so unfortunately that is the end of the video, but please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave any questions or comments down uh, below in the comment section, and I will make sure to answer them. Um, if you're new, please subscribe, um, as my goal is to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, hopefully, maybe, depending on what, what goes on and stuff. Um, and make sure to click that bell icon in the top corner to be notified every time I upload a video. Alright, so guys, thank you heaps for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.